Facebook is now giving links more love. Facebook has made a few changes to the newsfeed algorithm last week that essentially favors links. Facebook says we will take into account time away from Facebook after clicking a link or whether they come straight back to Facebook. Okay, so let's think about that. If someone clicks on a link and they stay, they spend some time, considerable amount of time away from Facebook, what's the assumption? That article, whatever they clicked on, is there's value there. They're sticking around, there's value there, it's what they expected. However, if they click on a link and then they come right back, obviously there's no value to it. Okay, so what Facebook is trying to do is they're trying to get, um, kind of put a damper on what you can call uh, clickbait. Clickbait is, uh, uh, basically links that are begging to be clicked, but don't really tell you what you should be expecting. Okay. And I'm sure we've seen all of these type of articles. In fact, this is the homepage of Upworthy, which is uh, probably, you know, one of the most popular sites that has this type of clickbait approach. Okay. Uh, so in other words, the, what clickbait does is it basically baits you into clicking the link to get the, the, get an answer you know what is this about okay so for example uh, what do you do with a hungry baby when you're out shopping this mom's prepared okay whoa so the answer is somehow I, I've got to read it okay uh, why you should always keep a two dollar bill and a can of tuna in your car I have no idea what that's about but definitely has me curious I'm not really sure what I'm uh, to expect there okay um, often with these kind of type of articles, you click on it and it's, it could be a letdown. Oh, really? Is that what you're talking about? Okay, I kind of already knew that. I'm going to go back to Facebook. So Facebook is really taking a closer look at this clickbait um, issue. All right. Uh, and then the next thing is Facebook is also prioritizing how they rank links in the newsfeed. And they, they prefer that you post links as links like a normal person, okay, like a regular Facebook user who's going to share a link. They also want brands, nonprofits, businesses to also post links from their Facebook page as you would post a link, okay? So basically the other announcement that they have for the newsfeed is that they're going to prioritize showing links in the link format and show fewer links that are shared in captions or status updates, all right? So let me show you an example here. This is a no, okay? In other words, Facebook is going to put less priority on posts like this, okay, where there's a link in the description, all right? If there's a link in the description, and now Facebook isn't clear about this, but uh, photos are great. I mean, photos get a lot of exposure, lots of engagement. So I'm not sure how much uh, reduction will happen on photos that are like this, because this is a photo that's posted on Facebook, and in the description, we have a link. Okay, so Facebook is saying, ah, eh, we don't really like this. We just want you to post things as links if you want to drive traffic to your website. Okay, so the the uh, what they're really looking for is something like this. So this is a link post where Soy Dog Foundation they posted a link. It creates a preview. They pick a picture. They edit the title, description, and they post it into the newsfeed. So what Facebook is saying right now is that this is going to get more precedent. Let's just look at their quote again. We will pr prioritize showing links in the link format and show fewer links shared in captions or status updates, okay? So don't post links in photos, post them as links in the newsfeed. And also, um, and, you know, here's an example of a link that's posted as a link, okay? So this kind of touches on another issue, which is what is your goal? There's really two goals on Facebook in a sense, what, you know, related to what we're talking about. One is, we want engagement. If you want engagement with your Facebook fans, photos are the way to go. If you want to drive traffic to your website, that's a totally different goal, then you post links, okay? Now, a <clears throat> couple of tips here. Uh, links, the other you know, critical thing that's kind of happening here that Facebook is a, very much aware of, in fact, they're changing their entire website and how Facebook pages are designed and all that, to satisfy mobile, right? Because what they're realizing is that most Facebook users are accessing Facebook from a mobile device. These are statistics from Buffer, and they, they did some research and they're just showing, you know, 71% use social media for mobile. 76% of Twitter users access from mobile. 1.1 billion users are on mobile, okay? And if you think about your own behavior, if you use Facebook, 
you are touching Facebook and accessing it, looking in the newsfeed, probably more on mobile, you know, while you're uh, waiting for your kids, you're picking up your kids at school, you scan Facebook really quickly, you're in the bank, in the line at the bank or whatever, you're kind of always touching Facebook to some degree, Mo more and more of this is happening through mobile. Now, the thing with mobile is that um, <clears throat> a link actually has a lot of visibility in mobile as opposed to the newsfeed. Regular newsfeed has a hard time competing with photos and all that. So uh, a few tips to keep in mind. So think about posting content as if you're posting it from mobile. That's how to think about it because when you, when you look at your iPhone, and here's a screenshot right here, you have very little room for text. So if you're gonna post a link, don't post a lot of text with it. Um, you know, just, just post a little bit of, you know, a sentence or two, because if you post too much text, it's gonna push the image down in the newsfeed and you're not gonna be able to see the entire post on your iPhone. Now that said, you can see here that uh, the, uh, the iPhone or a smartphone or whatever you wanna call it, uh, a post from Facebook is gonna take up the entire screen, okay? Uh, so just some tips here. Keep the title concise. Get to the point. Do the, don't do the uh, clickbait thing where you're giving people half the story and then they have to click on the link to get the whole story. Keep the description short, like I just said. Use action words, meaning verbs, you know, that encourage people do this, take action, click here. Um, the image size, this is a critical piece. The image size is 1,200 pixels by 628 pixels. Okay, so that's the image size. Now, obviously that image size is a lot bigger than a mobile phone, that a mobile phone has, you know, uh, the ability to display. But, you know, we're talking about satisfying browsers and, and iPads as well. So the best image size is 1200 by 628. This is gonna go back to your website, okay? So in other words, like, if you publish a blog, if you have blog posts, make sure the featured image is an image that is 1200 by 628. Now, if you go to Canva, you can create these posts pretty easily, but you have to select the template that's called a Facebook ad, okay? And I'll show you that in a second if you have questions about it. Use images with people. That's always a good idea. Ask a question about the link, okay? Um, also, try using custom call to actions. So Facebook ads give you the ability to post a link and use different call to actions. So for example, um, we can add a call to action to a link if we post it through Facebook, through the Facebook ad tool. So when you go to Facebook ads forward slash create and you select website clicks as your objective, you'll come to a page where you can then write your headline, your text, and you get the preview on the right hand side. The preview that we're seeing just happens to be on mobile. Okay, it's showing the mobile version of the preview. And if you look in the bottom left, we now have a couple of options, shop now, book now, learn more, sign up, and download. So those are the call to actions that you can add to link posts. You might wanna try them. I don't know, it's, it's case by case how they work. In some cases I've noticed that they work really well, they work definitely better than not posting a call to action. Um, <clears throat> in general, what I've noticed is that if you have some link where you are asking people to sign up, download, or learn more, then a call to action is gonna work, okay? It's gonna work a little bit better than not having a call to action, but you have to obviously do your own tests, okay? So with all of this, what you wanna do is you wanna experiment and test. In Facebook Insights, if you go to uh, you know Insights on your page and you click on Posts, there's a report that says Post Types. So this is showing what type of posts perform best on your Facebook page. Now with this new change with links, you may wanna wait a week or two and try some of the suggestions that I'm, that I'm making, then go back, look at this report. Now the real um, <clears throat> number that you wanna look at, you don't wanna look at reach so much because reach doesn't really matter. Obviously in this case, and with a lot of Facebook's reporting, they're gonna really push reach. So reach is the big deal, okay? But, uh, and why do they do that? Because if you want more reach, there's an easy fix to that, and that's a Facebook ad. But what you want long-term is engagement. That's really the, the better play on Facebook is to get engagement. And engagement tells you that your content is good. That's, that's, that's really what that's about. 
if you get more reach, it just means that more people saw your update. It doesn't really mean that the content was good because you can always gain that with Facebook ads and using other channels to drive people to a specific Facebook post. But if that post isn't good quality, the engagement's gonna be low. And what you want is you want high engagement on your posts so that you can create what's called viral reach, right? When people comment, like, and share your posts, who sees it? Their friends. And that's important because birds of a feather flock together. Many of their friends will see that post and say, hey, they're reminded of your organization. You know, wow, okay, that organization, they're having an event, or wow, that's a cool article. I'm reminded again of this organization, okay? Uh, so make sure you experiment and test. What you wanna look at in this report is you actually wanna look at uh, post clicks, likes, comments, and shares. So look at average engagement, specifically likes, comments, and shares, and that will show you what's really working, what's not. And you wanna look at this over time. You know, before you started posting links only as links, and um, you know, you've, you've made the suggestions, you've made the, the changes in your approach based on what we've talked about today, you know, do make those changes as you see fit and then wait a couple of weeks, go back and see how that change has affected the, the uh, engagement, right? So with that, I'm going to open it up for questions and I'll go right back to the beginning uh, and I'm gonna jump over to GoToWebinar and see what we have for questions, okay. Uh, 